Okay, today's video is about cranial nerve stuff. I, um, we've just been going over this right now in the neuro block, and I watched a video about this. I got like some of the most basic components, and then I added some of my own things so that when I went to take the test, I just wrote this all out and it just gave me like, you know, an immediate answer for several of the questions. Cause these all by themselves, uh, the some special somatic afferent and the, um, all of that stuff, all of those seven categories are super hard to remember all by themselves. I tried. Uh, so this gives you a super easy way to do it. And this is just kind of like the general outline and we're sort of like we're going to go over it. Okay, so the first thing that you would need to write on your paper would be save Virginia, save Vase, and then you make seven lines under your paper. And then you'll take two of these letters for each spot and put them on these lines. So save Virginia, save Vase. And then for the first three, you're gonna put S in front of it. And then for the last four, you're gonna put G and that gives you all of those columns uh then my computer's talking to me then I like to write um because our professor wanted us to know these things um so this one is branchial motor and it originates from the pharyngeal arches, like embryologically speaking. So I just write that above there. Um, and then this one is, you know, like the E's tell you that it's motor, but when I was uh, memorizing it, it just like efferent doesn't always just immediately come to mind that that's motor. So I would write that out. Um, it just helped me. You don't have to do that if you just know that. And then it's this one's uh, parasympathetic. Um, and then this one is somatic motor. And if the efferent tells you motor and you can just remember that, cool, you don't have to do that. And then this one does not originate from the pharyngeal arches. All right, and then the next thing you would do is there's a little story that goes with this. Okay. So I have a brother who's 28. He lives at 5153 Crossroads. He likes all the multiples of 12 except one and two. He also just likes 11. And that would look like I have a brother who's 28. Two and eight right there. He lives at 5153 Crossroads. He likes all the multiples of 12 except one and two. So what are the multiples of 12? You got one, two, but he doesn't like those. So we're not gonna write those over there. And then you've got three, you've got four, you've got six, and you've got 12. And he also just likes 11 for some reason. So 11, we're gonna put 11 right there. And then the very last thing that you do is you um, put seven, nine, 10, in all the middle ones, not on the last one. I mean, the first one, not on the last one, but like seven, nine, 10, you just put them all right here. Seven, nine, 10, seven, nine, 10, seven, nine, 10, seven, nine, 10, seven, nine, 10. And that's just a filler. There's like no cranial nerve zero. It's just a filler. So GVA is just seven, nine, 10. So that is the whole thing right there. Uh, cranial nerve stuff, say Virginia, say vase. We wrote out um, what they actually are, where they originate from, the little story. I have a brother who's 28. He lives at 5153 Crossroads. He likes all the multiples ex of 12 except one and two. He also just likes 11. And then you go back through and all the middle ones, you put seven, nine, 10. And then this is your finished product right here. And for your exam, when you get your little... Um, scratch piece of paper when you begin your exams you can just put this down real fast take 30 seconds a minute and that will um that's a few of your questions right there